Hi everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today, for my Freshwater Friday, I want to put together this 40 breeder rack. Now this isn't the conventional 40 breeder rack, and it's certainly not two by fours that I crafted myself, because even following directions, the hardest part I have is getting the two by fours in my car to get it home. Well, I don't even know if that's the hardest part, but I can't get past that part but I could get this shelf home. I watched a video that Corey put together from Aquarium Co-op and got the idea. Now, I think it's a little different. He used, he went to Lowe's, I went to Home Depot. So all I know is what mine is, but I got the idea from him. So I'm gonna show you how I put it together in a very quick time lapse. And, and I believe this is gonna be the last one that I'm adding. Okay, did you see that? Ah, I'm such a bonehead sometimes trying to put the tank in without the wood shelf. It'll never sit properly because they've got these little grommets sticking out. It's like six of these shelves I've put up already and I forget to put the wood in. And these metal shelves, I don't know if you can see them, have a little lip on them where the wood sits perfect. But the best part about this particular one, which is 36 by 18, is my 40 breeder sits right on that. So it's not really sitting on the wood at all. It's sitting on, on the metal lip. I had Amy and Kyle come help me put the tank in without the wood and we couldn't figure out why. It took me a little bit. I'm too embarrassed to say how long it took me to figure it out. So we take it out, we pick it up and Amy puts the wood in. And so now it's seated properly. Oh, even though this was the easiest for me to put together, it certainly wasn't easy. You actually, it fits so tight that you actually have to build the shelf around the tank. Once I got the bottom built, I put the tank in, it has to go in perfectly even and steady. Then I could put on these couplings, build the next part, put this on, and then the shelf has, to, the 40 breeder has to go in. Now in my case here, I don't have this 40 breeder yet. But what I'll have to do to get it in here is remove this shelf and have someone help me pull these back so I can get the 40 breeder in because it's such a tight squeeze. I probably need three people to do this and then I'll have it seated in there. I haven't put water in this one yet because I mean, I'm sure I'm going to have to move this around. Now, normally you can take this shelf instead of putting another post on here. You could just use a 40 breeder and a 40 breeder and you and for one container for one shelving unit you can get four 40 breeder set up i particularly need the shelf on top for one for storage for two to hold some electrical and three uh right now i'm using a lot of individual air pumps but right now this was my last 40 breeder stand for this part of the basement so this is how I put together a 40 breeder shelf. So I, I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.